I'm back with another Cuban cigar unboxing and review. Today we're going to be looking at the Romeo and Juliet Wide Churchill. Wide Churchills are, of course, Robustos with the factory name of Montescos. And uh, I'm pretty sure that there are some other uh, Montesco Vitolas in the Habanos lineup, but only in regional editions or edition limitadas, I believe. And so these Romeo and Juliet at Wide Churchills are the only uh, standard production Montesco in the Habanos lineup. These Robustos have a 55 range gauge and are five and one eighth inches in length and as you can see this particular box has a box date of may 2019 so these have just about five years of age on them i do have another unopened box of these from march of 2019 as you can see here and of course, these are handmade and were released in 2010 in dress boxes of 10 or 25 cigars. And then I think like a year later, they were released in display boxes of 15 aluminum tubes and cardboard packs of three. And of course, 2010 was the year that Habanos finally decided to throw their hat into the arena of the wider ring gauge cigar trend that uh, had already started really years earlier with New World cigars. And also in the same year, Habanos released the Cohiba. Uh, with a 56 ring gauge and so that year they were releasing two of the fattest ever uh, standard production cigars in their uh, lineup to date. The short Churchill um, was released four years earlier uh, with a 50 ring gauge and which of course is not a thin cigar either. You can see a link here to it. It's one of my more popular reviews and getting back to these I did pay $99 for boxes of 10 of these um, and I did buy several. Of course today a box of 10 of wide churchills are about uh, 330 or 810 for 25 so uh, definitely like at least three times as much and i also just happened to have found a screenshot from 2020 with a sale on the short churchills for 95 dollars for a box of 10 so 950 a stick and of course again those go the short churchills also go for about three times as much right now and of course, having the resources to afford to buy any cigars and of having the time to sit and smoke a cigar is a real blessing. So these uh, are pretty problems, as they say. But getting back to this particular box, as you can see, they have a nice light shade wrapper. Uh, they are very smooth. Uh, they are oily. The camera sometimes magnifies some of the imperfections, but these really do have a nice Cuban Colorado wrapper that are kind of close to flawless. And getting to the tasting notes on these cigars, uh, as I said, I have smoked lots of these um, cigars from this box had a really nice construction. There was this really nice uh, ample smoke that just kind of lingered, danced out of your mouth with really little effort or worry about pacing the cigar. To me, that's a sign of really good construction. And the smoke time was one hour and 10 minutes, so they were rolled really well. The first third, there was some wood and cream and a cherry note. And the second third, that cherry note really ratcheted up, which was quite nice, uh, evolving into a dried fruit note even towards the last third. There was definitely kind of like a viscous, chewy smoke with a kind of nutty finish on the palate. And there were also some uh, pleasant changes and complexity with the retrohale. The last third, the cherry remained uh, with uh, an intense twang. And uh, I definitely smoked that cigar to the nub. So all in all, this was a pretty great box. Personally, I think the short Churchills have an edge on the wide Churchills, actually, in terms of the flavor profile and the complexity. Uh, I just find some of the sweeter notes are more pronounced with the short Short Churchills, uh, but that's just my experience, uh, and both are definitely very good and well liked and well rated cigars. And as I mentioned earlier, I definitely purchased numerous boxes of these as well as the Short Churchills when they were first released. When they arrived back then, they were usually the first one or two were really delicious, but then the boxes became sick, and I would put them down for four or five years before uh, smoking them. And I did squander uh, more than a few for kind of lack of patience for wanting to wait, but I still aged a good deal of them. And that leads me to a whole other train of thought. Um, I, I recently got some short Churchill tubos that you see here, the more recent box dates, and these are smoking really nicely now. I have heard from some pretty good sources that Habanos has made some efforts for their cigars to be more approachable uh, and require some less aging time. You know, we will see if that's true. I know there are some other indicators of that, but we'll see how things progress with that. But all in all, a nice box of cigars and thanks so much for watching and for all your support it really does mean a lot to me and i'll see you soon